Hey guys, this is Introduce Nemi, and we're back with another episode of Redline Tuesday, uh, episode 16, actually. And uh, this one was given to us by boop, freddyf202.dvnr.com. So, let's get started. <clears throat> also, I, uh, I should mention, uh, this is the original, and it was kind of dark, so... I uh, I turned it like a bluish green and really messed with the contrast and then put a uh, another like bluish layer over top of it so that uh, we could see it against the red. Sorry if I sound a little like winded. I just came in from my walk, so I'm like, oops. All right, uh, it's kind of nice. I've been drawing a lot of girls lately. <laughs> like girls. I like drawing ladies. Alright, so hopefully you guys can still see that. If not, squint. Okay. So, as usual, we're going to start with the rib cage. Um, the torso looks pretty good. Um, there are a few issues with like where the legs connect to the the hips. So her vagine would be right there. Yeah, her butt would be there. Okay. Um, and this is another one of those drawings where like you kind of have to choose what you prefer more. So like in this instance, um, the torso is kind of going one way, like she's twisted and her legs are going like the other way they're going more back into the drawing and her chest is more coming towards us so this is another one of those issues where um, there's sort of like two bodily perspectives going on at the same time and you're gonna have to choose which one you prefer more I'm just gonna pick uh, the perspective of the upper body since that's drawn really solidly <clears throat> and go from there I think you are going for the, the torso's perspective because if you look right, I'm going to get even closer. If you look right here, you can see the leg in the background and that would be more like from this perspective of the torso, even though it's kind of like in the wrong place, it's like way, way up her hip. So I think that's what you were going for so that is what I will go for and we will meet somewhere in the middle just gonna make a new layer for the leggies the legumes So from this perspective, you are going to be able to see her crotch. Um, and you can like cover that with her skirt or with a prop or something. I, I don't know exactly what you were going for, like if you were going for something semi-erotical. So there's a the little tip when you draw uh, pumps <clears throat> with like a chunky front heel. Just draw like another piece like she stepped on like a big thing of Play-Doh. And then, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, I just can't get my throat to clear. And then um, draw in your heel like the... Uh, like draw in the split that way everything stays nice and even and then you can 
you go to ink or whatever, you can just erase that line and then you get a nice even heel going on. Also, this is like one of my favorite feet positions, the sexy slope of the foot. find that calf a little more. Oh, have a little lag. I don't have anything running in the background. Nope. And then, so here is kind of where your other leg is gonna be. <clears throat> I tell you what, this whole video is just gonna be clearing my throat. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys. Okay, so you've actually kind of drawn the foreleg in the position of where the back leg would go. There's real words. I, I feel like I'm not even saying real things anymore. So this would be more like this. And you know what? I'm going to be a total cheat and just take this for a minute. Come here. Just so that I make sure that I have Don't try this at home, kids. JK, try this at home. That's the whole point of these videos. Okay, so that's called cheating. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, move the, that leg up a little more. That decision pleases Emily, or Emmy, as I prefer to be called. Mightily. There. Okay, so that's a little more in the ballpark of where we want to be. And like I said, you're going to be able to see her vaginal region right there. But she is wearing a skirt, so, you know, you could, like, cover that up however you want. I'll just darken it for now. I might mess with that leg a little more. <laughs> Famous last words. Alright, let's move on to the face. Let's not be that close. There. Oh, and uh, as usual, the image came to me kind of small, so I had to make it bigger so that we had something uh, workable. And in doing so, the lines got blurred.
Mm, this is another one of those situations where her features are a little twisted. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to go with her eye line because I think that's what you were going for. Whoa, where am I? This is weird. I apparently was using another brush set at one point. The square brush, I don't know. a little closer. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm concentrating furiously. I think I've said it before, but... The one thing you don't want to mess up is the eyes, which is why I'm like sitting here with my brows furrowed, just being like, concentrating, you gotta get that eyes right. Because that's the first place people go to is the, the eyes and the face in general. You can actually get all, away with a lot in the... Uh, in anatomy if you just get the face right. <laughs> A secret comic book artists have been explaining for centuries. So I think you're kind of going for like more of a, what would it be, like a Romanesque nose. Um, I don't draw a whole lot of those kind of noses. Is that right? God, that doesn't sound right, but I think I'm right. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> Do you know what I'm really excited about on this drawing? Drawing the cat. There's a cat in the picture. I'm going to draw the cat. Do 
she kind of, uh, <laughs> at least in the way I drew her, she's kind of smizing, which is a Tyra Banks term for smiling with your eyes. It looks a teen psychotic at times. I hope I didn't make it look like that. Smizing. It was like a running joke on like season two of RuPaul's Drag Race or something. Oh, I don't want to put that line in. Okay, so as usual, the hair looks fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fix something that doesn't need fixing. Whoa, where am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> I started moving the canvas around and I got lost. But I think I put that one eye too high. I'm just gonna move it down a teenser. Actually, I'm gonna move this eye up. It's the beauty about working uh, digitally. If something doesn't work, you can just move it around however you feel. Uh, oh, that's too low, I think. So let's see, let's, yeah, it's just a little low. Her uh, clavicle would be there. Whenever I say words that I don't use a whole lot, and I'm pretty sure I'll write, and then I say them, and I'm like, clavicle? Is that a musical instrument? <laughs> Her nose, the way I drew it, still feels a little twisted to me or something. Um, but I don't think it's, like, terrible. I think it's just because I'm personally not used to drawing noses like that, so... Take my love with a grain of salt. And if it's wrong, fix it. And write me a really angry email. Gummy, you messed it up. Just a little perspective change on my cheaty shoe. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if I do a little bit of uh, cheaty work every now and then, but just to get through these in a timely manner. Uh, that is what I do. If you don't like it, you can go watch somebody else. I don't really know of any other people who do red lining, but that's okay. I think Cynic's design might also do some kind of critiquing, referencing on his site. I'm not sure. I'd have to go in the Luke. But I think his are more like painterly critiques and mine are more like line art. We're different in a beautiful rainbow kind of way. All the colors of the critiquing rainbow. Guess what color I am? A red. Like blood. Ugh. 
I'm a vampire. I'm not. So, let me put these in here. I think I made her boobs bigger. Oops. Okay, well, if you don't want that, I wasn't trying to make a statement about women, I swear. Just my style. Here, I'll make them flatter again. There. Perf. <laughs> okay, let's do the arms here. Um... I'm going to throw another color on top here. I just think it's just going to get so beautiful. My dog is being gross, I think. So, let's see. thing I might recommend doing is actually turning her hand to face back. I'm actually going to need to crop this a little bit. Um, and this is just uh, what's going on here? This is just a recommendation I'm going to make. I, I feel like that's a little more natural, but if you don't, then don't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that looks a little more uh, natural than like... Because I think she would like strain her wrist. <laughs> doing it like that. And normally when people like lean back on their their hands, they uh, they put their hand facing back. Like turned around. And then that would put your thumb on the outside like that. I don't know. That's just a general Emmy recommendation. I'll give you options. I'll do it two ways and then you can... Yeah, I'm like trying to think now. Like I'm twisting my arm trying to figure out which way. Another reason to do that is you get to see the inside of the elbow, which is kind of a cute little area to draw. It's a nice little V. Okay, and God bless, I just heard somebody sneeze outside. And they didn't hear my blessing. Come on, Polygon, thank you, or lasso tool, or whatever you are, freeform lasso tool. Goodness, I'm trying to get work done around here.
Alrighty, so... Here's my suggestion with the hand. facing the other way and a bit of lag. I always lag a little bit when I record. I haven't got more RAM. I still lag. Nothing I can do about it. So this is my suggestion said that really dickishly like this is my suggestion <laughs> all right actually it'd be a little shorter not like her fingers would literally be shorter but just foreshortened So that is my recommendation. And and then let me just go over yours. so that we are firmly on the same plane. Uh, let me turn off mine. Okay, so you sort of drawn her hand a little bit like a foot. Sort of like um, like there's like an actual heel here, and um, the human hand's heel, it's a weird tongue twister, is a little more connected into the rest of the hand. The hand's a lot shorter than the human foot, so yeah, just tighten that up. And then let's see here. I'm trying to think, uh, let's see, because uh, th these fingers are kind of coming up, so actually I think the hand would lay a lot flatter. Draw our patented mitten shape. That didn't really help us at all, but that's okay. Patented mitten shape, you were sort of of use. And then um, the thumb, you might only just see a hint of. You might not even see that much, actually. Get out of your thumb. And then, uh, I'm not sure where those gloves connect, but I think that's supposed to be like just below the knuckles. And then I think I need to make it bigger. So yeah, there's that hand or that hand. Take your pick. Two hands! I'll just leave them both there. <laughs> it looks creepy and awesome. Okay, so no, I'm gonna turn one off for now. Then we got we've gotta do the smoky hand. Smoky hand. Let me just rename that layer. 
alternate hand job. <laughs> That's dirty. Okay, dokey. So there is. Would that be the upper arm? And then let me go right over the hand. I think the gloves are like throwing me off a little bit here. Like I'm a little confused at where the knuckles are supposed to be, so I'm. Also, is she supposed to be doing kind of like a gun or like a smoking? If she's smoking, I'd recommend tucking the thumb in. If she's supposed to be doing like a gun position, then the thumb would be more like, not like that. <laughs> Where would the thumb be? The thumb would be more like... It's a little tricky because when I usually think of that uh, position, you know, like when somebody's doing like the fake gun thing with their fingers, I think of this being like really taunt, pulled back, and this is just kind of like a different. Look at all this garbage. Get it out of here. I would definitely carefully consider the position of that thumb. And then uh, we'll just connect this. Okay, and let's do kitty cat who's now slightly blocked. I apologize, little kitty cat. I also went and got a reference for this because uh, I was so excited. It's supposed to be a naked cat with no fur. Look at all them wrinkles. Ew. They're so cute. My uh, Somebody in this complex has one of these little wrinkly naked cats. And... Um, it's not totally naked. It's got like peach fuzz. And it's so cute. I just want to eat his little face off. So they have a more smooshed facial structure. Okay, so real quick, um, before I go any further here, uh, that trick I taught with like the um, with like the human face, where you like draw a circle and then like a T, the U, and then the V, like that. 
but more beauteous than that. It, it, the same can be applied to animal faces. It's just that um, they're a little more differently positioned. But they have the same sort of... Um, whoa, I'm lagging like nobody's business, sorry. They have the same kind of like cheek lines and and whatnot. Cats' noses are smaller and higher up on their faces than dogs are. Um, not all dogs, obviously. There's so many breeds and craziness with animals these days, but I've noticed that cats, um, like when you really look at a cat, all their facial features are kind of smooshed up together, like when you look at them straight on. And uh, and then all together you get a cat. And then you duplicate that <laughs> and you mirror it. And you get a cheaty cat. We love you, cheaty cat. You make our lives so easy. <laughs> Somebody out there is going to write me an email. Don't draw a cheaty cat. Alright, so, and then they have just a short little nasal bridge, and then they have a bundle of whiskers here and here and here. And here, it was sometimes right there. I forget what all these whisker packets are called. It sounds like something at like a cat office, a whisker packet. But make note of these bones here. This is the upper part of the skull showing, and then uh, here would be the lower jaw and like where that attaches and then this is all skin and fat and fur and fluff and what have you so I'm actually not a big uh, animal drawer I use that term drawer. It's okay, so take one last long look at this, then delete it. Boop. <laughs> I actually have a cat in one comic, and at, like basically every time I draw him, he looks totally different because I learned something new about how to draw animals. So he's definitely going to be one of those things I'm going to have to like correct as I publish the books. Like I'm going to have to go back and retouch him and make him look more uh, unified in his appearances. I've always wanted a naked kitty. But I'm pretty sure you have to bathe them. And uh, I just don't know how good of a parent, cat parent I would be. The first time that cat stank, I'd be like, oh, you stinky cat. It's because you're wrinkled! <laughs> I actually have a really adorable cat. Her name is Mama. I love her to bits. So I'm trying to combine uh, this cat's 
like kind of squat, sleek, and now the squat and sleek. Can that be the same thing on one animal? <laughs> but anyway, uh, can an animal be both squat and sleek at the same time? But I'm trying to combine both the kitty in the picture's anatomy and uh, the original anatomy. It's all right if if uh, the cat doesn't look exactly. like the kitty pictured, gives it a unique character-ness. Ew. <laughs> I actually really like drawing the wrinkles. In college I got, um, I was strangely obsessed with wrinkles. I used to draw them all the time, basically. Oh, you know it would be so freaky to have a, like a big dog, like a shepherd or something that was like totally naked? Not from like mange, but just, you know, a, a gene. And then, ew, wrinkles. <laughs> I'm actually probably going to have to move the cat a little bit just so you can compositionally um, see him a little better, her a little better. I think it's a female cat. I believe the cat's name is Luna. Unless I'm totally forgetting. Then the cat's name is not Luna, and I apologize if I've offended anyone, and I'm done. Drops mic, walks off stage. Bam. I'm not very hardcore, can you tell? Oh, my neighbor and that dog. I don't know if you can hear that shrieking dog outside. My neighbor, she has this uh, this little dog who I think has like attachment issues with her, and she purposely leaves her emergency door uh, closed with like the the inside door open. The emergency door is like this um, metal grated door, and so like when she goes to take the trash out, you can just hear the dog inside the house going, ah! <laughs> "Come back." Gonna make the cat's head smaller. Don't panic. Probably also squattier. Squattier. Is that, is that a word? It's probably not. And you're all screaming at me right now. Stop saying squattier. It's not a real word. And then what I will do here now, right this minute, is make the cat bigger so that it matches approximately the size that you were going for. <clears throat> I'm also going to move him up. 
her up and over a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna I'm gonna move the cat tentatively in this direction so that her shoe falls between the cat's paw and the edge of the tail so it doesn't look like she's stomping on the cat. <laughs> that would be bad. Oops. Just adding a little bit of translucency here. So that we can see both her and the cat. Um, and while I'm at it, I'm going to go over that skull. I'm sorry, I'm like just going over everything right now. Mess that up. I didn't do anything right today. Okay. So the skull. I, I have to go over the skull. It's basic human anatomy. I have to touch on it a little bit. And I might even touch on the candles a little bit too. <laughs> okay, so. Human eye sockets are actually kind of boxy. They're like sort of rounded off boxes. And here's the nose. And because I don't have a skull right on me, but there's like little things up in the nasal cavity area. It's been a long time since I've actually drawn like an anatomically correct skull. Even this still looks cartoony. This part here doesn't go out that far. It actually it's more like this. Also without having like a real skull on me here, this is not going to be like totally thoroughly right home the mother accurate but it's in the ballpark And then he's got like a candle on his head. Try to um, not have the, the drippings of the candles. I think there's some over there. Yeah, try not to have them quite so thick. Um, candle wax actually drips really... What's the word I'm looking for? It, it more or less like oozes as it melts, so it's more... It's more like straight down, and then this is the glob that's actually pulling away and you know like when you stretch gum and it gets like thinner in the middle that's more of what it's like so like as it runs in waxy rivulets rivulets Riv rivulets Riv in streams down the uh the skull try to uh, thin them out a little bit
squeaky chair. Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh. And I better go over the book. <laughs> You're done, Emmy. You're done. No. Just the book. Just the book. Just the book. I'll help you with the book. Sorry, I'm trying to make this a good one because by the time you see this, I'm going to have somebody over and I'm not going to be like responsive to emails or anything at all. So, unless this is a magazine, books don't bend, so just uh, keep that nice and straight. But the pages, they bend so sexy. Beauteous, if I do say so myself, and now I have to move the stuff I just drew because now it's all covered by a stinky cat. Why isn't this? Wow, come on. I think my tablet's kind of not doing so hot these days. Stupid cat blocks my skull. <sighs> that. Yeah, wow, this thing doesn't want to select at all. Might be time to get a new nib. Well, I kind of pushed everything around because I'm a bad person. But here we go. So, let us move back. Goodbye, naked wrinkle cat. We don't need you anymore. Oh, by the way, that was from, I think it was specialtycatbreeds.com or something like that. I don't know. It was like in the first row of Google search for naked cat. Okay, so this is ours, and here is the original. So I think there's definitely some things there to, to work with. And if you don't like it, you can touch my butt. I don't know. All right, cool. I think that'll be it for now. And uh, I will see you guys on the next episode. All right, bye.